What is good friends? I'm back here with another showdown live. I wanted to use Spec Screen Ninja for a while. I got this really fun team from the forums with um Thish <laughs> Thish again with Thash and Hiligo. I already used Thash and Hiligo last live. And um this time it's HPI though, which is pretty cool. You should tell this man, have fun my man. We got offensive alone Merrick with enough speed to outspeed um Celestila. Um we got that plate tap Coco. What else did we we have choice bags, Ash Green Ninja? Oh with Ice Beam, I just realized now that it has Ice Beam. Oh you don't have the type of Coco, okay. And we have Choice Scar Ferramosa, which is pretty cool to check rain. As it outspeeds, Jolly Cheska Fermosa outspeeds Kingdra and the Rain, if I'm not mistaken. So, looking at this guy's team, I can see him lead with Mammal Swine or Gutchomp. So, we are gonna lead with Ash Greninja. Turn on the timer. And I kinda wanna just go for Water Shuriken. Try to knock him out with, um,. So he kind of get brought down to his sash. Oh, I would need a lot of hits to kill him with water shuri. That's not good. Um, let me think. Let me think. I mean, I cannot open him with hydro pump anyway. So let's just go for the water shuri. In case we get enough hits, we need four hits to kill him. We are really lucky we get the four hit. Whew. That boy just disconnected. Oh, never mind, he joined back. Look at this clean Ash Greninja evolving. Like, that play was risky on my part, but I feel like. I couldn't switch out because if I switch out, I just give him a free turn to set up rocks, and I lose like all everything. I just gave him free rocks, and I get I get nothing. So I was willing to risk that. Okay, Goliath Pod is gonna go for first impression. We actually max attack on the Celesteela. They're they're on Aqua Jet too, Goliath Pods, but I feel like Celesteela is my only play here. Don't really see what else I could switch in on this monster. Okay, liquidation does 53. Holy crap, calm down. I mean, he could go into Zerg Tree, but he's probably just gonna attack again. Yeah, and we can. I actually cannot touch this thing. Why did I bring this out? I mean, I don't really need Saddle Stealer for anything, but... That wasn't the smartest playing on my part. I just want to get some damage with Heavy Slam off. Yeah, I would speed him, but that's absolutely nothing. So I would have been better off going for Leech Seed. That's the thing with offense, like I have no switch ins for anything. The Celestia is mainly here for Tabu Lily. People spam Tabu Lily have, like everywhere on the ladder at the moment. I'm actually bulk recording this video right after. Actually not right after. Two hours after or three hours after the another the Alone Nine Tails Hail one. Um all I'm already really tired. I hope this is not gonna bite me. I really shouldn't be recording, but I want to try to bring you guys more content, so... I'm willing to get destroyed here and there, because I'm playing the game even though I'm tired. We get a juicy crit on that Goliath pot, so it's actually... Emergency exit activated at 50%. Without a crit, I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure it would have been put into emergency exit anyways. I didn't think about that. 
to actually make a decent play there. Because we can keep Celesteela. But yeah, I didn't even realize that he had a mes emergency exit. Like, I obviously know about it, but I didn't think about it that specific turn as he's probably gonna go pivot. Now, why would he go to Zerker Tree if he brought this out? He has Flamethrower, what am I saying? Yeah. I didn't think he would be faster. I sort of run speed on myself, still. I could have gone Marrowing there now that I think about it to have an extra sec for later. But yeah, we can go to Tap Coco and click oh. Thunderbolt. I don't care if you have a guard chomp. Yeah, she have grass not as said. I assume that's for Mammal Swine, but we cannot like most mammal swines run sash, so you cannot oko them anyway. Doesn't even two kills mammal swine, I would assume. I don't really know what that grass not is for. But yeah, we get the we get the nice kill with the thunderbolt. There's no way I'm over predicting it. He brings out the guard jump. This is either Scarf or Bulky, so it can live a Dazzling Gleam. My off quick switching is literally the X button at this moment, because I sacked myself, Steeler. Do I need to stab Coco? It would be nice to outspeed the Mega Metagross. But I have an Ash Cream Ninja, so I'm fine with the stat, so I'm just gonna sack my tap Coco. I don't know what to switch into. I mean, what is Feromos doing in this game? The, the second I was thinking about sacking it. I mean, he's Scarf, so I can go to Nihiligo here and I can click HP Eyes. Let me click if that killed. HP Eyes doesn't kill from Nihiligo, so I think I'm forced in a Feromosa. If he goes Metagross on Ice Beam, that puts me in a bad position, so I think I'm forced to u turn here. Like, if I'm him, I'm just take the Golisopod. Or Golisopod. But this is kind of a tough turn. I think I'm gonna high jump kick in case he stays in. I feel like that's the play to make, because I cannot risk him going into Metagross on an Ice Beam. So if he goes Metagross on Ice Beam, I lose all the momentum. If he goes Zerkutri for no reason. Um, we're gonna have to hit another high jump kick here. I'm definitely not switching out. Like, this is the offense. As we miss classic Pokemon. Yes. He goes for the Z. Hypnosis and he hits. Wait, did he hit? Oh, I cannot get put to sleep because of electric terrain. Amazing. I still outspeed him because I'm Scarf. I don't even know why he went for that. So, yeah, we just. We have another chance to hit a high jump kick. As we hit few. <sighs> Get a beat to boost. <laughs> I call me young Pokey aim. As he goes back into guard chomp. I feel like I can high jump kick him. And um actually no, I don't have to stay in here. I can just set my metal rag and then Nah, I feel like staying is fine. I can take the mirror later. I just have to hit this. This is important. Hmm. Probably should have called if. Okay, yeah, that, I think that puts him in range for specs. What I should written for sure. And he outraged, so he locks himself in. So yeah, I'm gonna go Ash Grin and click that water written. It's funny how. Like pre-bank, people don't use hazard removal, but um, I didn't even leap with Nihiligo to get a hazard, just because I was fearing that Mammoth one lead. Yeah, what a sure he picks him up with two hits. Ash is just really strong. Six hundred seven special attack after the choice backs boost. Galissa pod. 
Do you even live with specs? What is shooting? Let me code that. What is shooting? The 30% minimum. Okay, let's go with the bot that doesn't run HP invest. And I'm gonna actually have to check first impression if it's more priority. If it has higher priority, if it's like uh, extreme speed, it's first. It only says it's first. I think water should, should be faster than because I'm faster than him, obviously. I just want to be sure, like, I don't want to choke this away. Oh, yeah, his one is priority two, mine is priority one, so I'm gonna switch out here. Nearly goes to sec to make then. Phew, I'm glad I looked that up. That would have, I would have looked like a damn fool if I stayed in there and lost my good ninja. I mean, I could have gone into. Merrick too. Now nah, Merrick is fine. Merrick lifts a hit from Metagross, so I want to keep that around. I'm gonna power jam in case he doesn't Aqua Jet, but he's obviously gonna Jet. Yeah, could have gone to Greninja to actually just stunned, but no reason to make that play. And now I just click Dark Pulse two times and I win the game. If I'm not mistaken, yeah. If he switches out and saves this, that doesn't matter. He can't win. Nagros gets clean O code from Specs, so what is Shuriken? And this one is. Like he dies to his next live up hit, and I can water Shuriken him anyway if I sack my Marek. Let me say GG, my man. Uh, yeah, this was fun, but really close. I'm actually, like, I'm not the best offense player. So yeah, let's just get another game. As I disconnected, amazing. Let me look at this the guys. Team Porygon and five Ultra Beasts. So this guy is all about setting up and getting base boosts, uh, getting boosts in general. So with Porygon Z conversion, he wants to um, try and three, but then he has probably Z Hypnosis Zerg Tree or um. Choice God Zerg Tree, get the Beast Boost, Speed Boost, etc. Let me pause until my Pokemon Shodan decides to not lag, like until it loaded, loads loaded, whatever my English is done. We barely made it in time, we are timing out, good lord this is close. I'm just gonna pick the Nihilogo lead because I was timing out as he leads with the, the boss wall. I feel like power jamming is fine here to get off damage. Actually, Sludge Wave is stronger. But he has a Celestia, so I'm gonna power jam in case he wants to go to Celestia. So at least we hit that for neutral damage. Let me actually say, have fun, my man. Um, I was testing OBS earlier, and for some reason, my microphone was like, I was really low. The audio basically was not acceptable. I didn't like the audio. I feel like the first recording I did, uh, Shot on Life number 26, I think it was. That was the first recording I did with my, with my new microphone. I feel like that audio is pretty nice. Not optimal, yes, not optimal. I still have to figure out some things. But it's definitely better than my old headset mic. That was complete garbage. Holy crap, that was bad. So that is the second vid I'm uploading with my new mic. As this guy is taking some time, says, "Oh hi!" He just realized I said, "Have fun." As he scarf Buzzball. So yeah, I'm gonna. If he pulls a double, if he pulls a double into a Zocchi. Nice play. As he does, just do. Oh, never mind. He does the self stealer. Um. The Celestia doesn't beat opposing Celestia. Cuz they run flamethrower, so we're just gonna go into Marek. He predicting a flamethrower, a leech seed. Um, yeah, he goes for flamethrower, and his flabbit switching doesn't exist, so we're gonna fire that off. He could have earthquake and hit me really hard. We actually run enough speed for defensive Celestia, but I, if he runs some speed on his Celestia, he outspeeds me. But yeah, like I said, OBS wasn't working for me. Um, yeah, I'm using Camtasia again now. Only have a trial version though. Only lasts for I think 30 days. If that 
those 30 years are over I have to figure out what I'm going to use what the recording program I feel like yeah, I need to get up rocks man to chip away at that Porygon and stuff uh, he protects that was not a good play in case I was SD or in case I was um, in case I had rocks on my metal rack protecting was not the play to make it's kind of obvious that I'm rocks in the hill I go because I'm sash but still protecting that didn't really accomplish anything because yeah he said it's the dies exactly um, but that recall is really annoying. I wish I was rock hat Marowak now. Lightning Rod is obviously pretty nice for uh, Tap Coco. Uh, I'm gonna have to flab with this thing. I wanna Shadowborn it really, really badly. Because a lot of Porygons are ghosts, but if he. That's way too risky. He could be electric, he could also. Oh, he's just trying to kill me with recoil, I see. I mean, I got another kill, I take that. That's fine with me if you just want to sag your Pokemon like that. As he's trying to get a based boost, I'm not gonna allow you that. I'm gonna go hard on the Celesteela. Because he cannot really touch me. Like, Night Slash would be the hardest hitting move. And I can fire off a Leech Seed here. Don't really see what's wrong with that. I don't think... I don't think, um... Cartana gets any type of fire move to hit me. So he goes into this as we are max attack adamant So we are gonna go for heavy slam. This boy thinks he can set up on me. This heavy slam is gonna hurt Please don't be electric. Oh God, he's electric If I went for earthquake man, I would have destroyed him but, hmm. Now if he has to recover and I protect, I'm in a bad position. I mean, I have a scar for most on the bad, in the bad, in the back. I meant. Um, I'm gonna set my Merrick here. That's actually the best play, in my opinion. There's no reason to set my Celesteela. He just goes for Ice Beam, and now I can go into Scar Fermosa and actually I didn't call if High Jump Kick kills, but if High Jump Kick doesn't kill, Fermosa is really bad. If this doesn't kill Fermosa, actually doesn't deserve a suspect test because a lot of people are saying they want Fermosa banned. Okay, it kills few. I was about to say that didn't kill Fermosa would be dog ass. <laughs> I would never use Fermosa again. Holy crap! I mean, I'm jolly, but still. Um, pretty sure Katana eats up the hydrogen cake, but I'm gonna cut to to be sure. Wait, I completely forgot he's a steel type. So he obviously dies to high jump kick, I don't know what I was thinking. Why did he go out to this? Is he sashed? I don't care if you're sashed. I just wanna like I just have to hit this. This is the important part. If I miss It's gonna be rough if I miss. I mean I can technically go to myself steal here, but yeah he just sacks this. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna have to get another game after this, cause this doesn't count. Yeah, why didn't he go to this before? I cannot kill you with high jump kick. You, Basel is really bulky. And, um... Fermos is not the strongest, and he also resists fighting. I don't really know what he would go for here, but I'm gonna go to Celestia to scout what he locks himself into. Goes for Ice Punch, it does absolutely nothing, and... I can fire off, uh... A heavy slam, okay he just forfeits. Could have heavy slammed in case he went for most I killed that off, yeah. This game was mine obviously. I'm gonna pause it and be right back with the last game. Hopefully we can go undefeated in this one. That would be lovely. Okay, we are here, we are back. We are facing some offense with a magnet zone and a probably stealth rock. What is this thing called? Lycan rock? I don't know why I forgot the name and another Porygon man. People really like Porygon Z. I actually didn't use it yet. I used it a bit for like two battles, but not enough shot on live. Um So a cell a cell rock thing, lightning rock lead is pretty obvious. We got a Celesteela with Earthquake, which is cool to hit Magnus Zone. If he tries to bring that out. What do I even want to lead? I feel like Tabu Coco is the way to go. 
Wish I had HP gone on this type of Coco for Magnezone. I don't really see the usage that Grass not. Like, HP gone is so good. You hit Magnezone, you hit Marowak. But yeah, we are just gonna fire off a T Bolt to turn 1, and I assume he's Sash, so he's gonna get a Brox. And next time we can just U turn in case he wants to switch into Magnezone. We don't lose anything from doing that, and. Okay, he, go he just gets off the cell rock chip damage. Chip. Um, yeah, this is bad because my illegal sash got broken. How fast is I can rock? I should have probably checked before. I could have let let off with Nihiligo. Never mind, I can rock is faster. I mean, I still could have let off with Nihiligo. Predicted the taunt and just attack. That would have been a better play. I'm gonna go to Scarfer mostly here because it outspeeds his entire team, but I don't feel too too comfortable because he has a tap of Fini that he can bring out. Actually I have a I have a good idea. If he goes into Tap of Fini, I'm gonna U-turn into my Celestila as I disconnect the drip. I hope I'm not gonna lose to I'm gonna be so pissed if I lose to disconnection. I'm gonna pause it and I'm gonna be back. Absolutely amazing. We lost to this connection. That is absolutely amazing. I mean, what I would have done now is I would have U turned out into um, probably Marowak. And if you went for Brutal Swing, that's a really good play. I would have to give him that. And to ma either Marowak or Self Stealer and Bluff the Flamethrower. Settle Steeler and Bluff Flamethrower and go for Earthquake Breaking his Magnuson is probably what I would have done, but yeah. Okay, we are back versus this RMT that I've already faced and I've lost to it, so I want to beat it this time. I've lost to it with a Shofu team. And I'm gonna make the um, Nahelego lead this time and make the play that I was talking about earlier. That I will just power gem. Predicting him to taunt because he obviously doesn't want me to get a rocks, right? Yeah, exactly. So I just predict that and go for power gem. And I do it KO him. He, um, he can decide if he wants to break my sash or if he wants to get a rocks. And he decides to get a rocks. But the good thing is, I still have my sash intact and I get a beast boost, special attack boost. So I'm actually a threat to him now. Um, the thing is, Magnus the walls me, so that's a bit sad. I didn't think about that. He, de he decides to go to Scarf, the CGI. I'm pretty sure this is Scarf. I know his. And he's probably gonna go U turn out into Magnezone. Mm. I forgot if the Magnezone is Scarf on his team. Nah, I'm pretty sure it's Scarf Tabu Lele and Scarf the CGI. So, power jamming here is a fine play. Because if he goes into Magnezone, he still takes some chip, and also, um, yeah, let's just pause him. I can get my rocks then, the upcoming turn, because my taunt will wear off, which is the exact, like, the main reason I was staying, as I get a crit, and that did nothing, I think he's a salt vest. So that's why he made that play, that makes a lot of sense, but I'm just gonna get up my rocks here and he's gonna flash cannon me. I eat that up because Nihiligo is actually a god. I kind of wanna go into Marowak here. Saving this as death for would be nice. I'm actually gonna make that play, yeah. I always feel like with offense you can never have enough death forders. As he tries to volt switch, give me that lightning rod and I'm gonna have to call if Shadowbone kills. I assume it won't. Shadowbone has a really good chance to kill. If you see stand up Magnezone spread, so I'm gonna go for that. In case he wants to bring out his Garrett Dose, I feel like that's the play to make. And if he goes onto Garrett Dose, yeah, I also could have Willow Wiz, but I feel like Shadowbone was the safe mid ground player. That almost kills that other shit load. So. This Marek is nice to keep for Magnus Zone, but 
I don't have a switch in. I can sack off Nihiligo here. This is exactly why you keep death farther. Yeah, exactly. That's why I kept my Nihiligo to sack it off this turn. Funny how Shodan said what he drank that said. It was so risky. I mean, I have a Scarfarer Mosa, so what do I care? I can just bring that out and I can click that young U turn if that kills. I would have to calc if that kills. Yeah, you turn this 14% minimum, so he would have to run bulk to live this, but this... I don't think he would run bulk. Or he even switches into the CGI. I guess in case I high jump kick there. That was a wild play. Okay, he scarfed the CGI, I'm gonna have to see now. I wanna go on the Cell Stealer here and click off quick really badly. But first off, I'm gonna calc if he can kill my Tapu Koko. Yeah, the Sidra is not that strong, so we are gonna go out into Chapu Koku here. I would like to make the Set of Steel play and go for Earthquake, but it's too risky in case he in case he doesn't go Magnezone on the Earthquake as we disconnect it again. So this was the third time we disconnected in this video. I really should I should have um stopped playing when it happened the first time. I should have realized that I should take um like wait for like an hour until my show on decides to not lag my computer or my internet or whatever lags. But yeah, I hope I won't disconnect. I won't hope I won't lose man. Okay, I'm really pissed. I think I have to end the recording here. Cause I lost again. Two disconnect. I'm pretty sure I win this game. Look, let's say see I'm here in with Tap Coco, right? He has to pick what he wants to do, like his Magnezone gets treat KO'd, I'm pretty sure, with um, Stealth Rocks and Electric Terrain boosted Thunderbolt, that plate boosted, would probably treat KO, I can calc that. Yeah, I calc, it does like 37% that plate Thunderbolt to Magnezone. So, yeah, what I'm saying is basically Tapu Koko gets a kill here, no matter what he does. Like if he U-turns something, he can take his Gyarados if he U-turns, okay? Yeah, he gets, like, Tapu Koko just gets a kill. And in the late game, I'm pretty sure I just win with Scarf Hermosa. Mm. Yeah, he scarfed Tapu Lele, but I have Scarf Hermosa, which outspeeds him. I can poison, like, poison jet probably the 70 or 80 percent. I would have to cut, but I'm not going to do that now. But yeah, with Stealth Rocks up, Tapu Lele would only have to switch him twice, I assume. And I'm pretty sure it's in range oh, for, to die from a poison jab. Um, I also could just spam U-turn if it was not in range for Poison Jab and just sack off my Merrick later on and then U-turn again. And then when Psychic Turin ends late game, I just uh, win with Water Shuriken from Ash Greninja. His Decidue was really low. If he U-turned out, it was super low. He would have died to that. And Mimikyu is super frail. Um, I don't even have to water shoot Mimikyu because it's slow. I can also dog boots kill that or hydro pump. But I guess hydro move would be risky because it can miss. But yeah, I don't feel like getting more games now because I'm t I'm getting tired and um, I keep the seeing and losing points to that is really annoying. Like I was earlier in the 14, 40, 14, 50s, 14, 40s. I mean that's not high at all. I'm just using laddering for fun on the pre bank. Uh, pre-bank ladder and then the first life I did this day I got a bit destroyed <laughs> but I still uploaded that to see how my new like just in general I don't mind lo uploading losses I just like if it's uh, if my opponent outplays me it's okay I just don't feel like I played optimal in, in these games which really made me like angry <laughs> okay not angry it annoyed me I don't know why I'm rallying for so long and basically in this Life. I think I won two games and I lost two, and the two losses were to DC. Like I basically don't think I would have lost any game this life if I didn't DC. No disrespect to my opponent, but I think I had this game. If you guys enjoyed this, I've been rambling for way too long. You can subscribe, leave a like, tell me what I can do better. If you leave a dislike, like constructive criticism is always nice. This outro has been way too long. I thank you guys for watching. I wish you a fantastic day. I'm Dark, which I'm signing out. I see you with 
more content especially SPL coming up soon I cannot wait for SPL good lord peace friends